Hey there, this is Atul from team K21 Academy and in this lesson we are going to look at cloud deployment model. So there are three deployment models. One is public cloud, then second is private cloud and third is hybrid cloud in which you can deploy your cloud or you can run your applications inside cl cloud in one of these three deployment models. Let's look for one by one what are these. So public cloud is, as your name suggests, is available for public. Anyone can um, anyone can create an account and access this. Now, if you are going on to the Azure cloud and then creating an account, that's basically the public cloud. You can create an account. I can create an account. Like hundreds and thousands of users have their account on public cloud where the underlying infrastructure is shared um, and then uh, and depending on how much I need, I use that. That's public cloud. So it's typically public cloud is offered by the third party providers like Azure in this case, it could be Google, it could be Azure or sorry, AWS or Oracle or any third party application um, of, of your running public cloud. Now it's available to anyone over the public internet. And later in this module, we are going to create an account on Azure. So that's where you will be able to see that account being or uh, you can also create an account on or, or start using public cloud. Now, scale quickly and conveniently, which means you can scale up on public cloud easily and quickly. That's public cloud. Then you have a private cloud, which is private cloud is offered only to the select customers over the internet or over the private internal network. So there is a dedicated pipe. There could be a dedicated pipe from a customer premises onto the private cloud. So that's private cloud uh, basically or users can access it over the internet as well like you do on public cloud but in private cloud it's only for selective users no other users can't access that particular private cloud so for this what private cloud provides it provides a greater security control which means you know that uh, no other person is using or no other company is using that particular cloud. It's only dedicated for that particular customer and it requires a traditional data center staffing and maintenance. So this private cloud sometimes also referred as clouded customer where you can bring the entire cloud hardware and as well as the underlying software which runs cloud tooling on customer premises that's private cloud um, and especially useful where you have tighter security controls so some banks might say oh, we're not allowed to take our data outside our this particular premises or data center or maybe particular location in that case you can have the cloud um, or at a private on to the particular location now next slide i'm going to talk about that as your stack hub and stack hub is an example of uh, where you can have the entire cloud being shipped at customer premises. That's private cloud. And then uh, the third cloud commonly is hybrid cloud, which is a combination of public and private, where you have uh, some applications are uh, running on public cloud, some on private cloud, and hybrid kind of environment, where you have combination of both public and private. In this particular hybrid cloud, the responsibility is shared between, the, between uh, both public uh, between the um, you don't have full control and some part is controlled by the cloud vendor some part is controlled by you now it helps maintain the tighter control over the sensitive data and processes meaning what you can do is you can have your sensitive information in private cloud but rest all non-sensitive so not non-sensitive information on public cloud now as name suggests or as you can see that private cloud is for a particular customer or a dedicated customer the pricing is higher you have a little bit you need a little commitment maybe in terms of maybe a couple of years of subscription for that hardware and so and then cloud and that private cloud might involve a little bit more or a little bit interaction at the early stage of when the deal is being signed it's not like a, a uh, public cloud where I can go and create accounts. So that's public cloud. Now, if you look at the example of hybrid cloud, there's a component called, called Azure Stack Hub, um, which provides to run your applications in an on-premise environment, but in uh, provide the same kind of a service that you do in cloud, but in your data center, in customer's data center. So you have here right inside, you see Azure Cloud, and then you have a Azure Stack Hub, which is um, which is in this particular case, you have uh, the Windows Server with a backup server, and that is using my 
cloud as a recovery uh, here but you can have a some applications running on private cloud which is as your using as your stack hub and doesn't need to be as your stack hub it could be uh, an um, in AWS, you have Outpost. Uh, in Oracle, you have Oracle Cloud at Kashpan and so on. So that is an example of hi a hybrid where application running on public, or uh, this is the right public and private cloud as well. And that connectivity can be on an express route, which is a dedicated pipe. We're going to learn this when we cover networking. So that's hybrid model. So just to do a recap, you have three cloud deployment model, public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. And this is an example of hybrid cloud where you have app as your stack hub and running on on premise which is a private cloud um, and then your standard as your cloud as a public cloud now with that uh, head on to the next lesson where we are going to cover accounts and subscriptions in azure and this sometime people it might confuse others so i'm going to log into the account and show you what is azure subscription means and what is account means what is subscription means and then different type of subscriptions and then how do you look after billing and costing so i'll see you in next lesson well this was our azure cloud expert mr atul from team k 21 academy and this clip was taken from our free course for azure beginners even if you're a beginner, this course will give you a holistic overview of Azure Cloud, Azure DevOps, Azure Data, Azure Security, and whatnot. And if you're already working on Azure Cloud, then this course will help you to revise your basic concepts. In order to subscribe to this course, all you have to do is just go to k21academy.com forward slash Azure and subscribe to this course. And within 50 minutes, you'll be getting an email under that, you'll be getting your login credentials and our WhatsApp group where you can ask your every doubt related to Azure Cloud. Thank you, and I will see you in the free course.